Hi everyone, my name is Miss Barbie and guess what? I am at the Beloit Public Library and today I'll be talking to you about a sensory story time. And today I have a story with me. Brown Bear Brown Bear, what do you see? I have a special book that I'm going to read with you and your child. All right families and I have a special friend here and if your child has a special friend they would love to read a story with, go, go ahead, I'll wait a couple of minutes. Go get that special toy, that special blankie, whatever it is. I want your child to feel so comforted and enjoy the story time. All right, are you ready? Sounds good. Okay, friends, I have a song. You ready? Join with me. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at group time, at group time. Time. One more time. I think you got it. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen. This is how we listen at group time. At group time. Awesome. Are you ready? Okay. So families, for a sensory story time, I have a special book. I make sure the book is hardcover or sturdier, not so much the paperback because I want your child to take advantage of the story and have fun flipping through the pages. A lot of children may not yet know how to hold books and when you have a sturdier book that'll give them permission to turn the pages and still explore. So this is a hard sturdy book. I have a special plush goes with the story and I also have here my flannel board pieces. These are the story pieces that go with the story. This will also provide an interactive way for your child to chime in and join into the learning. So as I'm reading, I would normally hand the pieces out to the children and they would have a chance to put the pieces in order. That means they will have to pay attention to the story and then also pay close attention to when it's their part to bring their animal up. Have fun making the animal sounds. Talk about the colors. This is a time for your child to invite all of their senses into story time. I want you to have a blast with it. And if you would like, I'll be here at the library August 9th to come in, come in for a story time. All right, families. Are you ready? Okay. You sure? Okay, families, here we go. Hmm, let's look at the front of the book. What do you see? What do you see, friends? I see a brown bear, a duck, a yellow duck, and a purple cat. Hmm, this is the front. Here is the title, brown bear, brown bear. What do you see? What do you see? Question mark. Hmm, they're asking us a question. What do we see? All right, let's talk about the author and the illustrator. That's important to know, friends. The author writes the book. The author writes the book. All the words and sentences, the author writes the book. This is written by Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carle. They work together to create the story. Now, who do you think did the pictures? That's right, the same people. They collaborated and they worked hard to draw the pictures to bring this book to you so you can have a chance to read this book and check it out at the library. Illustrator, illustrator. That's right, they do the pictures. You got it. All right, let's turn the page. Read it with me, friends. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Tweet, 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 tweet. There's a red bird. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? What does the red bird see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Quack, 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 quack. Have fun making those sounds, friends. I know you know them. All right, we're turning the page. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Now, what does a blue horse sound like? That's right, it does. <laughs> Turning the page. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? What 
is the blue horsey. I see a green frog looking at me. Are you pretending to be a frog? I bet you are. I heard you. You said ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. That's right, green frog. Turning the page. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Do, does any of you have a cat at home as a pet? You have a pet and you have a cat? Is it purple? No, it's not purple. Purple cat. What does a cat say? Hi, kitty. We're turning the page. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. Hmm. Hi, white dog. Turning the page. White dog, white dog, what do you see? What does he see? What's that? That's a black sheep. Can you make the black sheep sound? Way to go! Ma, ma. That's right. Bye, black sheep. We're turning the page. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? Hmm, she's thinking. What does she see? She says, I see a goldfish looking at me. Let's open it up. There he is. Hi, goldfish. Can you make a fish face? That's silly. Bye, goldfish. Turning the page. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi, everyone. Bye-bye, teacher. Turning the page. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Look at all the beautiful faces. Hi, children. Bye. Closing the last page.